All right, guys out there on the web, I know it's been a long time, and we told you guys we were going to get to this as quickly as we could, um, and this is as quick as we could get to it. Kyle's actually over there doing an NSS project for himself right now. He's, uh, he's polishing silver with toothpaste. Something I've never seen, but apparently it works. Might get him a date. Anyways, uh, Josh, <laughs> Josh and myself, uh, we're about to uh, take this 20 millimeter ammo can, and we're going to turn it into a wood-burning stove. As you can see, we put this pipe here. Josh is going to take out his knife. He's going to score uh, just in the paint around the uh, pipe so that we know where to cut with the, the cutting tools, either the Dremel or Sawzall. We haven't decided yet. And then we're going to cut a door into one end, this end, because the pipe's on that end, so that you can feed it in. And uh, we're going to do this in increments, so it's not going to be like uh, just stay right there and watch the entire tape. We're going to shoot a little bit right now. We're going to go through and do a little bit of the work, come back, show you what we did, and then show you the end product. So uh, stay tuned and uh, look forward to seeing us getting this done if Josh doesn't kill himself. This might happen. Well, here's my power drill. And I'm about to start a uh, pilot hole for our stove pipe here. Uh, so that we can then take our Dremel tool, thinking that's probably going to be the best tool to start out with, to then cut out the rest of the opening so that we can then fasten our stove pipe to it. Josh just took the uh, DeWalt and drilled the pilot hole uh, in through the can. Now I'm going to try to take the Dremel and see if I can cut this out with the tungsten carbide bit. I think. Mark never showed up. So what we've done so far is uh, we started cutting on the uh, on the lid of the ammo can to put the smokestack, and um, the guys took the lid down to the shop. They're going to use a, a press on it because it had uh, some cross members in it that we couldn't get through with the Dremel. So they're going to try to use the rotary cutter and uh, cut a, a circle through it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm putting the um, hinges for the doors on and what I've done is I drilled one pilot hole, I already put in one screw and then that screw will hold this hinge down, then I'm going to drill the other four holes or the other three holes, then I'll do the same thing for the next hinge and then I'll take it off and cut the door out. That way I don't have to cut the door off and then try to drill matching holes. So. Stay tuned and you'll see what it looks like in a little bit. Hey guys out there on the uh, fan page. The wind's kind of picking up here so hopefully it doesn't mess with the uh, audio too much. But as you can see, we took the 20 millimeter ammo can and I, uh, I took the Dremel to it. And... Uh, cut a door into the ammo can and what I'm doing now is I'm attaching some uh, some simple hinges we picked up at Lowe's pretty inexpensive I think they were like 79 cents for the set of two and as you can see the ooh that's perfect and then I cut a hole here 
And what I've had to do is I, I had to take a eye bolt and fashion my own little latch that's gonna we're gonna cut it down. We'll put an L bracket right here so that you'll be able to turn it and lock it into place. And this is uh, the beginning of our uh, 20 millimeter ammo can wood burning stove and uh, fairly easy to do and uh, very inexpensive so I'd like to issue a challenge to all you guys out there on the NSS fan page um, this is something we can do it's pretty simple pretty basic um, I want to see you guys go out and make stuff like this on your own too because waiting for the uh, the day for it to happen, you know. Let's say you're let's say you're one of those knuckleheads who's believing in the zombie apocalypse, like the CDC. Oh my God, um, you're really gonna wait until the last minute to, to prepare for it, because if you are, you're probably gonna end up dead. So, as you can see here. Joshua, here's our little door to our 20 millimeter ammo can. And uh, all I got to do is I got to add the latch. And yeah, there is a gap between the door and the body, but uh, that's going to provide for a little bit of ventilation, and uh, it's not going to it's not going to cause that much of a problem. But uh, we're going to put a grate in the bottom and we're going to drill some holes in the bottom also for ventilation and then we've got to finish the top which is sitting right over there and uh, we still haven't decided exactly how we're going to do that up we might leave it the way it is uh, we might drill a hole bigger and put the actual flue in it so that we can collapse it all down into the can still a work in progress, progress so uh, stay tuned and you'll get more Alright, so here's what we've done so far. We went ahead and we cut a door out of the 20 millimeter ammo can. These are just uh, regular pieces that you can get at the hardware store that were uh, flat, um, straight pieces of uh, connector that I drilled extra holes in and then I bent them to make a latch. There's your door. And the reason I used an eye bolt is when this thing gets really hot, and you're out camping or whatever, you can use something else to work the lock. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and drill some holes in the bottom for ventilation, and we're going to attach some feet, and we'll show you the feet in a second. Josh, you want to tell them what you did to the top? Well, I took a drill press with a hole saw bit, punched a hole right through the top. Now, take your time with this, because um, remember, there are ribs that are double layered down the inside of the lid. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time, maybe use some cutting oil. Uh, but what we did, I found this one and a half inch, one and a half inch uh, uh, plumbing flange. And what that allowed is for these four holes here so that I can attach them through the bottom, punch a couple extra holes on the top and it basically sealed up our opening here. And then I uh, put a piece of uh, about 10 inch one and a half inch piece pipe of uh, galvanized piping for our stove pipe for the time being. Um, now you can flare that out and run something a little bit bigger. You can put a coupler on it, piece it together to make it longer if need be, or you can uh, you can just clamp on some exhaust pipe, some heating and ventilation pipe. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these feet off and attach them here, and then we'll pretty much be done. So. Stay tuned and you'll see the rest of it here. Here we have the inside of the lid. We just stripped out the rubber O-ring. This is the inside of the can. And as you can see, I had to drill the ventilation holes. And we have the door. Yes, that's my shadow. I hear Josh walking up behind me. I think he's coming up with the feet. 
You have the feet? I do. You got three feet. Fourth one's over here somewhere. What you might call a tripod. Yeah. These are the feet that were on the uh, military stretcher over there. These will go on the bottom. Now we've got to uh, we've got to figure out the uh, proper spot to drill to get these suckers to stay. So this thing will have four little feet. You see this one? Just like so. Alright guys, so what you see here is the uh, the finished project, the labor of love that uh, Josh and Kyle and I have uh, worked on here today at the uh, NSS HQ. As you can see, uh, it uh, it's pretty damn sweet. And uh, it's got feet. And take the rubber O-ring out of the lid because, you know, rubber is not real friendly with fire so it would burn. Um, as you can see, here's the latch again for the door. Don't worry, it's not wobbling because it's, you know, it's the trailer that's out of whack. Um, I'm going to set this down on the ground so you guys can see. This little dude is extremely sturdy. Here's your door. We're going to put a grate in there in the bottom uh, to keep the wood. We've uh, put some ventilation holes in the bottom and it's got a latch to lock that door in place. Said earlier, Josh can reiterate this too, and Kyle behind the camera. If you have the means to do stuff like this and the ability to, you know, get out and get it done, get to it now and uh, do your projects, get your kids involved, and uh, build something like this. Like, I feel like I did it with my kids today. Um, and uh, just make sure you can do this uh, before you absolutely have to do it. And then again, necessity is the mother of invention, so look at what we made. Anyways, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed our little video putting together this wood-burning stove. There might be a little bit more to the end of this video, because I think it's time to spark this sucker up. Let's fire her up. We're going to fire this thing up, so stay tuned. <laughs> SS wood burning stove. As you can see, there's some smoke coming off of it, but the, uh, don't be alarmed. It's not smoke that's coming out of it. Actually, the uh, the paint is burning off of it, which is what we wanted it to do. We're going to burn all the paint off of it, and then we'll hit it with a high heat paint, um, so it won't burn. I don't know if Josh can pan up to the top, but you can see the uh, spark arrestor and the uh, little chimney that we put on the top of it. And then uh, go ahead and open this up. And then this thing is just blazing away in there. Boy, this little latch works even better now that it's heated up. I mean, this is insane. Ooh, insane in the brain. And, uh, just lock that sucker down. And uh, this is the new NSS wood burning stove. And uh, the old campfire, if you would. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, coffee in the morning. Yeah, this sucker is, uh, it's raging hot on the top. So you could put your, uh, you could put your coffee percolator right on the top of this thing when you go to bed at night. A little coals in the bottom and a little fire going. Have this inside a tent that's well ventilated um, with a bridle ring like a parachute has at the top for the chimney to go out of. And, uh, It'd be great for a winter camp, and uh, we're going to try to keep this sucker going as hot as we can get it to burn off all this paint. All 
Tash, why don't you bring the camera down and get a shot inside there so you can see the... Can you see that in there? It's almost like the Yule Log channel. Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, we lost the, uh, we lost the rubber grip. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh well, we didn't need the rubber grip anyways. We're tough. But uh, there you have it guys. The uh, 20 millimeter wood burning stove. And we are going to seal this lid with uh, the uh, tape that you get for uh, wood burning stoves. We'll put a seal around this so it's a little bit tighter, a little bit snug. And uh, get a good proper draft going. Anyways, this is uh, Chappie and the guys from uh, NSS saying take care and take care of the wild. I think we did a darn good job here, gentlemen. I do believe you did. <laughs>